here at High Point, we have BYOD or Bring Your Own Device, and it comes really handy to all the students here because we have apps on our phones, like classrooms, where the teachers can talk to you when you're at home and they can assign you different homework assignments or let you know when an upcoming test or quiz is coming. You can also put your email on your phone and hook it up to your school account, which makes it really handy if you want to know about a club or if a sport that you're in got canceled for any reason and it makes it really easy for you to communicate back and forth if you're not with like the administrators or your teachers at the time. So I think that the bring your own device policy at High Point is beneficial especially if you're a student because uh, you can work on your own device that you're still using like if you have your own laptop you can use that and you can also use like your phone and stuff. Um, and a lot of the teachers now, especially like with the upcoming technology and like the day and age we're in, like they uh, coordinate a lot of stuff they do in the classroom, like that stuff, like with stuff that you can do on your phone, like games and stuff, so it's convenient. So I find the bring your own device policy super helpful at High Point. Um, it allows students to like bring their phones around if they don't necessarily have like an iPad or a laptop to do so. You can check classrooms, look, look at online textbooks, and all that kind of stuff to get work done when you necessarily don't have um, a bigger space. So bringing your own device to school allows you to do so. I'm actually one of the social media ambassadors here and I use my device quite a bit and to take pictures or like videos to post on Twitter to show like people like what we're doing and have like a hands-on experience. All right, so my thoughts on the bring your own device policy is I don't like it at all. I think the kids are distracted all day. They're waiting for that ding ding from the cell phone so that somebody, they gave them a text or an email or hey somebody snapchatted me this or that. From the academic standpoint, I think that the kids are cheating and they're cheating a lot and we're not able to catch them. And I think that is the downfall of um, the cell phones. I don't think there's a need for it. Um, the one thing that I like to do in my class is integrate technology all the time. Um, whether it be signing in and out of my classroom, we have our students scan out on a barcode scan reader, um, a QR code scan reader, and uh, they're able to enter and exit my room, sign out equipment, um, so this way I can keep a, a quick record of everything. But also it can become a distraction. Um, if students have their phone out while we're in the middle of instruction or doing a presentation or doing a film review, uh, and they're doing whatever they're doing, they're not focusing on the task at hand. So we ask them to keep their phones basically away until I request them to come out uh, for any particular reason.